Coast Space Rescue under 12. The task is collect the object as many as we can within the given time to get as many points as we can and how we deal with the traps and the obstacles. The pro and the problem is it's hard to find out where the deposit area after the robot fully loaded with objects. Solution. Optimize the ultrasonic and color sensor to make the robot easier to find the deposit area. Result, the robot can find the deposit area faster than before. Conclusion, after we optimize the ultrasonic and color sensor, not only the robot found the deposit area faster and easier, but in the end game, we can get the highest score. At first, we try to prioritize the black ones. To optimize the point, we caught the robot to pick the first two black objects, second the first two red objects, and for the last two spot, we caught we caught the, the robot to do whatever the robot pick. But then we re realize that getting the black ones is not that easy. And we keep wasting you so much time finding the object. Then we try different strategy. We reducing the priorities. We call robot to pick one black object first and then follow by red and blue. We still have difficulties to get our target point, which is over 1500. Instead, we keep failing and only get score around 1,200. And then we discuss it with our coach. And thanks to that, we have a new trick. By dividing the zone position like in the picture, we can make the robot prioritize the area with less obstacles in the period of time and then we code to another less obstacles area, and so on. We erase the code that makes the black ones the priority. We just simply take the nearest object, whatever its colors. And with this strategy, we can find the deposit area easier too. And after that, we can get close enough to 1,500. Even if we still can't do that, we getting near, so we decide to improve the strategies. So the example is when you want your robot move on the right side, only you can code x equals to for the specific time, like maybe 10 seconds. With it, the time the robot will only get the object from that area. What? Good with that is the right side really has less obstacles. Now let's move into the game. This is the first strategy we have that's so frustrating that we keep failing to pick the black object. Then we move to the next strategy. Modifying the priorities, we pick black, red, and blue in order. We succeed to increase the score with this strategy, but still not close enough to our target. Then the final strategy we have is here. See, look at the robot move freely in the decided area we make. After some seconds, it moved to the deposit area to deliver the object. And with this kind of strategies, we can get more points by getting more objects. And I believe we still have room to grow to get more and more points. In the end, with this strategy, we can reach our high score at 1470.
It means we are living on the ring of fire and earthquake heaven often. So, developing the robot rescue that China has in the last picture will be beneficial to our people. The robot has many kinds of sensor like ultrasonic, color, temperature, or infrared sensor. So, in the field of disaster, that has more complex obstacle. The robot can find the victim and survivor easier and faster. So in the end, with the knowledge we have gained in this competition, and of course we will develop ourselves and get, getting better each day, so we can optimize the robots so we can find more survivors and victims.